Melbourne. How are you going? You good? Yeah. Awesome. I, uh, I love dogs. I've got a dog. Give me a woo if you've got a dog. Yeah. All right. Give me a woo if you've got a cat. Yeah. Get the fuck out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, you're all right, you're all right. Well, for, oh well, good on you for leaving the house, you did it. <laughs> that Zoloft's kicking in. <laughs> I showed that therapist. Uh, <laughs> living the dream. I, uh, yeah, people think you have to choose, like which one do you like more, dogs or cats? You don't have to. I just on a very personal level think that people who have dogs have far more interesting stories to tell than people who have cats, right? I used to work in an office with this woman and she'd come in and she had a cat and she'd be like, Mr. Mittens is so crazy. <laughs> he comes up to my bedroom door and it's only 6 a.m. and he goes, meow, meow. <laughs> Speak to at HR to get you fired. <laughs> oh. He's crazy. He comes in some mornings at 5 a.m. I think I know why he's doing that. I think he's trying to get in there while you're still asleep so he can suffocate you because you're a boring bitch. <laughs> also, cat owners, you know your houses stink, don't you? You know that. Oh, they pong to high heaven, your places. <laughs> I think I know why, I'm not a scientist, but it, could it be due to the tray of your cat's piss and shit you keep? <laughs> Political tonight, aren't I? Jeez. <laughs> I love dogs. Uh, I have a dog, her name is Ruby. She, uh, she came with that name, I got her from the RSPCA. She's a great dog. But my dream was to have a dog called Helen. That's a good name, that's a strong name. Like, you know the name Helen's strong. Like, you know if you ring up your bank's call centre and you hear, hi, this is Helen speaking, you go, brilliant, Helen is on this. 40 second phone call, job done, right? But you know if you ring up your bank's call centre and you hear, hi, this is your centre. And you hear the nails going, clack, 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 clack. <laughs> oh, I'm going to be spilling shit for the next 10 minutes. <laughs> clack, 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 clack. Oh, that, what's that? That's a soundtrack for someone who found year 10 a bit difficult. All right. <laughs> don't send me an email, I don't care. Um, <laughs> I got my dog for the RSPCA, she was $50. That's a good price. The lesson in that, always haggle with a charity. They will go lower. <laughs> That's cheeky. That's cheeky. I love taking my dog to the dog park. I love going to the dog park with her. But she's a big dog, right? She's a bull Arab, right? So it's a, such a big brindle girl. She weighs about 45 kilos. Same as me, I'm worried about myself. Oh no, <laughs> fading. Um, there's a certain type of dog owner that freaks out a little bit when they see a big 45 kilo dog coming into the dog park and they all scoop up their little oodle doodle noodle poodles. <laughs> Everything's half poodle these days, isn't it? You've got your cavoodles, that's your King Charles Cavalier cross poodle. You've got your spoodles, that's just your Spaniel cross poodle. You know what you never, ever, ever see anymore? Poodles. <laughs> They've gone. they fucked themselves out of existence. <laughs> There's always a certain kind of woman that's afraid of my dog at the dog park. She trots out of a Range Rover or a BMW X5 if it's not going well. And, um, <laughs> thoughts and prayers. And, um, <laughs> she trots up to the gate of the dog park there and she's got her dog and she goes, excuse me, is your dog friendly? Can I put my dog in the dog park? <laughs> if you can hold it like that, that's not a dog. <laughs> I hope you've kept that receipt. That, oh, you've stuffed up. You've paid two grand for a rat in a shower cap. Um, <laughs> this happens a lot. Like, the other morning, there was four separate women who were like, can I put my dog on the dog park? I'm like, well, you're a dolphin. Why do you have a dog for starters? <laughs> you know when people are so rich, they become disabled? Like, ha, ha, ha. Vow 
sounds at me. I'm not a whale. <laughs> Mum might disagree. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I snapped at a woman. I snapped at her at the dog park. The fourth one was like, can I put my dog in? I said, no, thank you for checking. Ruby does have a couple of triggers that set her right off. <laughs> one of her main triggers is stupid bitches in way too much active wear. Yeah. <laughs> Rah, she'll go, yeah. <laughs> Now nah, bring your $130 Lorna Jane leggings in here. I don't get that. I don't get that active wear thing. Why? Why pay so much money for a pair of leggings? All it does, it makes it look like your vagina comes all the way up here. <laughs> oh, you've had a hysterectomy. Well done, Carol. Fantastic. <laughs> my name is Boone Melbottle. That is my time. Thank you so much. Good night. <laughs>